Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is March 27th, 2023. I'm here for my Wordle and Quirtle of the day and to celebrate rugby, which I know virtually nothing about, but I just read that in 1871, the first international rugby match was played between Scotland and England, and Scotland won with a score of 1-0. to zero. I thought that scores were higher in rugby, but I guess not. All right, so we're going to use that as our inspiration word of the day. It'd be cool if it were rugby today, wouldn't it? Actually, you know, that's better than I thought it would be. <laughs> I was really worried about the U. Wow, not only do we have the U, we have it placed. So now we have a G somewhere. I'm going to hold off just a bit. And I'm going to look at what letters we might use here. So we've already tried the R. We've got S, T, L, N, maybe E, right? So I know I kind of want to try the G somewhere like an NG, right? It could even be like suing. Did I use the I? I didn't. But I already know that there's a U there. I think I'm going to try, let's try sting. Let's try that and see what it yields us. We've got some really good letters in there. Oh, another one placed. And the G still not placed. So we put the N here. And so now we have to figure out where the G... Oh gosh, you know what? If the G can't go here and can't go here, and obviously it can't go there, we do have the G placed. That's actually my absolute favorite way to get a letter placed when it just can't go anywhere else. What is that? What is that? The G goes here. It has to. U something N something. Okay, so Gurney has an E in it and a Y. Okay, so Q is not going to go there, nor there. W, E? I don't think so. O? <gasps> it could be guano. If an O goes there, have we? No, we haven't used the A. Oh, it could be guano. I kind of want to try that right away. That does not look like a G. Whee! Okay. That would be a great word, wouldn't it? What else could it be? All right, so we know if an O goes there, it could be guano. Uh, a P here or here, I don't see it. An A, yeah, I think an A goes there. What about if something goes there? I don't see it. D, D, no. F, no. H, J, K. What could go there if the K went there? I don't see it. L, Z, X. I think it has to be guano. I'm looking through these real quickly. I have to try it. I think that's it. I remember when I learned the word guano. It was from my friend Karen Ducey in second grade. <laughs> that's it. Awesome. All right, I will be right back with Quirtle. I'm on my upstairs computer tonight, and I just realized that I didn't uh, set this to dark mode. Fishy, budge, clown, tramp, uh, D E deary, ready. I bet it's ready. Hold on, though. I'm going to check other things. 
below. I think this one has to be below. I think so. And that gave us an E here, but it still could be Deary or Ready. I'm pretty sure it's Ready, though. Uh, S, Haste. This one looks like it has to be Haste. I am playing this in Haste. Let me just double check and make sure this could work. We we could do an H here. We could do an A here. We know the S goes there. We could do a T here. Yep. That's it. I have no idea. Look at that. What is that going to be? Let's do ready over here. I'm ready to do that one. Oh, good. It worked. Look at this. That gave us big help. So R E Hmm. Okay, I have to I have to plug this in and I don't know why because we don't really have too many options. We know a U Oh, it's review. Yep. R E V U E. I'm almost positive. That's it. All right, that's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.